we are concerned about preserving the historic fabric of the integrity of the fort. This is what they were afraid would happen. They being the coalition to protect America's national parks and this being damage to historic Fort McHenry. Damage done by crews speed building a stage, mobile broadcast center and the infrastructure needed to beam a speech by the vice president from here to the Republican National Convention on Wednesday. There has been some damage and that um, for the sake of getting this done quickly, that corners have been, been cut from the normal procedures of planning such an event as this. The National Park Service telling 11 News parts of a brick walkway inside the fort were damaged by a forklift, happened during setup. Adding, as noted in the permit, the permittee, the Maryland Republican Party, is liable for damages and associated costs. The Park Service and the organization of people who want to work for the Park Service, both emphasizing this type of event, this type of permit secured, and this level of security for dignitaries is not unusual. We would feel this way if, uh, if uh, the DNC were doing it too. Though for some residents, the nearly two day closure of this neighborhood park is not exactly welcome news. You know, it shortens the public stay out here to enjoy the weather and enjoy the scenery. The coalition says Park Service employees know from experience that an event like this will surely draw counter protesters tomorrow to and near Fort McHenry and says they are probably already prepared for that. Reporting live tonight from Locust Point, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News.